Welcome back to The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. Our curse of repulsiveness has returned. Apparently it is a reoccurring thing, so once the moodlet goes away, it comes back and it stays. So we'll have to see how long this curse lasts exactly. Maybe you need to do another spell to get rid of the curse. Not entirely sure yet, we're gonna figure it out. Unfortunately, no one's really willing to interact with our lovely TRNT, except for perhaps some magical cats. And yes, she is holding a magical cat, like the one I was talking about in the previous episode. So I did mention that it would be cool for us to have a magic cat society or something of the sort in Glimmerbrook that our vampire Cartelia Candy Bell could go over to and play around with some cats at. As part of that, I went ahead and found a pretty cool looking spellcaster on the gallery. I'll leave the creator in the description below in case you guys want to go ahead and download that sim. But the cats, I have gone ahead and made myself, so you probably won't find them in the gallery. Regardless, let's acquaint ourselves, acquaint, acquaint ourselves, jeez, acquaint ourselves with our lovely magical cats. So, here we are. Before we go anywhere, this is also, I'll leave the lot, this um, Magic Cat Society lot, um, in the description as well so you guys can download that if you like. But look at this place, it's flippin' adorable, it is so cool. So where we had the starter home before, I just got rid of that and plopped this down. Look at how cool it looks, it's completely outfitted with all sorts of cat amenities and it looks adorable on the inside, so... I think the cats that live here will be quite happy. So the cat, the Magic Cat Society, is headed by the wonderful, I, hold on a second, let me grab it real quick, the wonderful uh, Angelin Kilsek. So this is her, if she would just oblige by looking up. No? Okay, we need to go speak to her. Let's do a friendly introduction. Tiarantine hasn't met her yet. The Others have. Maybe not everyone, but I'm pretty sure that Cartelia has met her at least. This here is Angelin, and I need to go ahead and get her name in my head. But there we go. Doesn't she look flippin' awesome? I love her. She's a spellcaster, and um, yeah, look at her. You just love it. She looks so cool. She looks like a dark elf, and that is a really cool vibe. But she is taking care of this society and um, the three magic cats that come with it. So the first cat we have is a Dragonflower, who, yep, does not get along well with Tiarantine. And I don't know if that's because it has a bad personality or if because Tiarantine has a curse of repulsiveness. Not entirely sure yet. If we head on inside, though, we have two other cats. So we have this adorable cat over here. Hold on a second. Let me just pop down the walls. Look at him! Isn't he cute? This is Pinkroot. Uh, Pinkroot is a boy, and the cat that we previously saw, Dragonflower, is a female. Look at Pinkroot! He is another magical horse in the Magic Cat Society, and they have a buddy somewhere around here. They have There's a, there's a third cat, if I can find him. Where did you go, kitty? Where did you go? If I can find the third cat. Oh, there we go. It's up on the counter. This is King Blossom. This final cat is known as King Blossom. There we go. So let me know what you guys think about that. But we have three magical pink cats, uh, which is so, so, so cool. And I'm excited that we finally have a magic cat society. It just made so much sense. And now whenever Cartelia wants, she should start building a rapport with Angelin, and then she can come here and basically play with the cats. She has good friends, I think. Oh, she's close to, I think, King Blossom out of all the cats. Closest to. 
and don't go outside. Don't go outside. No, 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 no. You need to go and befriend the cats over here. One of these cats do uh, like does have a pretty bad personality, but not entirely sure which one it is yet. Pink Root definitely looks the scariest, this cat over here, but I think he is my favorite as well, Pink Root. We have, yeah, Dragonflower, who looks just adorable, and then King Blossom as well. I think Pink Root's the one with the terrible personality, but I'm not entirely sure. He's my favorite, though. Actually, no, he doesn't have a bad personality, he just looks scary, but I do like him. He reminds me of a bat in a lot of ways. Ah, look at him with his, like, tiny ears and big ears. Maybe he does have a terrible personality. Hmm, I guess he does. Okay, well, can we play with him at least? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ah, we got off on the wrong foot, darn it. Let's play with him a little bit. Oh, this is so cool. I hope these cats live a long, 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 long life. That would make me very, very happy. And uh, I think now it says she's met a cat. Not entirely sure. Maybe she had to meet a cat that wasn't a stray. Hmm, interesting. Regardless, Anglin, you should probably... Um, meet with the others, like Colin. Elinard is at home. Oh, geez, yeah, he wasn't feeling too good. He had like a really weird potion a couple episodes back and he wasn't able to sleep. Luckily, I think he's uh, gone ahead and gotten some rest since we've come over to the Magic Cat Society. But Colin, he also just returned from work and decided to drop by as well. Let's get you to go ahead and say hello to Angolin. She seems like a pretty cool... Oh yes, talk about potion mishaps, and things about magic, overcharge risks, of course, of course. Discuss overcharge risks. She would be very, very excited to be in a conversation like this, in my opinion. She's uncomfortable, I'm assuming because she probably burnt herself or something. Oh, look at Dragonflower. He's so cute. Yeah, I think Colin would want to know everything possible about magical cats, about um, magic, who knows, maybe because anglin has been dealing with animals and stuff, she might have a different perception of magic. Let's gossip about the neighbors a little bit. Uh, let's... He's not afraid of vampires, he lives with one, let's enthuse about vampires. And I'm pretty sure he gets along very well with Cartelio. Maybe not the best, but he doesn't have an issue with her. Yeah, he doesn't have an issue with it at all. At all. Tiarantine has work in an hour, which is completely fine. Um, let's uh, ask about day. There we go. And tell an unbelievable story. Oh no, discuss your authors. That is totally something Colin would do. Yeah, probably like, oh, do you have any magical texts, tomes you could recommend to me? Anything that talks about the relationship between our magical abilities and the cats that we surround ourselves in? <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Um, let's compliment House, because this magic cat society is one of the awesomest things he's ever seen. So that's pretty cool. But if we have a look at this a lot, it is a really cool hangout as well. We have a kitchen, a small living room, bathroom amenities. If you go upstairs, this is her private quarters where she sleeps. Anglin. But if you go down, look at this. We have a magical cauldron, which I don't know if you can use the magic cauldron. I, I think you should be able to without there being an issue. I don't know if they're going to find it inappropriate, though. But look at this. We've got a really cool set of stairs, um, cauldron, and then a little setup over here. Like, isn't that awesome? I think this is really, really cool. It would be really amazing if we could have a setup like this eventually in um, Tiarantine's house. That would be very nice. Right now, uh, as you guys know, our space is very, very, very bare. But okay, Tiarantine... Oh! What? Uh, thank you, but no thank you. I don't think we want to go to any festival just yet. We've got a bunch of other things to worry about and focus on, but we do appreciate. We do appreciate. Don't get me wrong. We appreciate it a lot. But we're just focused on uh, other things at this stage. So he's outside. He's hungry, and I think roasting veggie dogs, yep. One is cheap, and two, nobody's going to find that inappropriate of him to do. So why don't you go ahead and chat with her a little bit more. Talk about the cloudy weather. Yeah, 
you, Cartelia, probably need to become the closest with Angelin, especially because she is the, the um, caretaker or the leader of the Magic Cat Society. I might even have Cartelia actually set up a Magic Cat Society where she can be the, the, the leader. Maybe Angelin is the caretaker of the cats, but Cartelia is going to be the, the lead. I don't know, that would be pretty cool. Ah, look at her! King Blossom wants her attention. Okay, also, I did say previously that I want to start doing the whims of my sims a lot more. So let's see what we can get done for these lovelies. Cartelia wants to finish reading a book, so I might have to get her to grab something to... Hmm. And why do you want to buy an easel? You don't need to. Those are silly things. Don't need to. He wants to roast marshmallows. I can get him to do that while we are over here. So I... Oh my goodness, look at her! It's a dragon flower. She's on the little cat condo. That's so cute. Oh, I love it. That's so adorable. And look at this. We have a little... Uh, we have um, Star Eater. We also have... We have the cute dragon flower in the background. Oh, this just... This just calls for a snapshot, doesn't it? Doesn't this call for a snapshot? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that, that's adorable. That's adorable. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm done. I think I'm happy, yep. Thank you, I appreciate that. That was too cute to be true. And, and she jumped down. And she jumped down. I love the fact that we've got like pink cats all over the place. In any other Let's Play, it wouldn't make sense. But in a Realm of Magic Let's Play, when you've got familiars, like six of owls flying all over the place and little dragons, it totally makes sense that we have pink cats. I love it. What's this? Oh, what? Why would you do a rude introduction? This cat, why would you do that? Let's try and pet the cat. Well, at least you guys are acquaintances in the negative, in the negative sense. Which isn't the greatest... Do you want to go um, roast some marshmallows, maybe? Let's go light and roast some marshmallows. I realize you made some veggie dogs, but that's fine. Also, Cart Candy Bell, you can probably come outside, Cartelia. Do you reckon you can hunt anywhere? Oh, is King, King Blossom's running away somewhere? Well, King Blossom, enjoy yourself. Is there, I wonder, a um, anyone nearby we could drink from? I don't see anyone, which kind of sucks. So we can't grab a drink. Oh, there is someone over here, but we'd have to go a fair bit to hunt them. Keith Fowler. I think we might have had a drink from him before, but Cartelia is going to go out to hunt. She is quite thirsty, and we don't seem to have uh, any potions that could help us with that. And I wanted to get Tiarantine to try make some potions like the yes. potion of plentifulness plentiful needs let's roast the marshmallow i want to definitely try and do that with her but the thing is we either need cauldrons or we need ingredients and time which we have very little of but once she's back we should be able to focus a bit on that i think she'll be back at 10 maybe yeah she's back at 10 we'll see how her needs are and we might even go ahead and try and make some of those potions. What's this? Warmish wash. Aww. Okay, she's not having too much fun. About it. See, look, her, the green color of her skin went away, but she still has this curse thing going on. So I'm assuming for as long as that stays, it's going to keep coming back, unless we find a way to get rid of it. But the problem is, I'm not entirely sure how you get rid of it. I know there's a rite of dissolution, but I don't know what that means. Does it mean it's going to get rid of your skills, or does it mean it's going to just cleanse you of any curses you have? I don't exactly know. So, I'm nervous to try it out. And you have already had your fill, so that's great. Whenever they head back home, she's probably going to settle down for a book to read. But until such time uh, as that, I think she's going to be happy to just play around. Why don't you come here and talk a little bit more to Angelin? Yeah. 
You guys aren't that close. I think Colin's actually closer to her than you are. But if you could, and look, it's Simeon's silver sweater. If you could become close to her, that would be awesome. Then you could invite her over. If you see any cats in the neighborhood, you can always invite the cats, feed them treats, all of those cool things. And I love the fact that we can just trod through bits of water here and there. I just love that. I love, I'm a, yeah, I'm assuming you can't go through every bit of water, but I like that you can actually tread through small sections of water that aren't too deep, which hasn't really been a thing before. Sims usually tend to avoid water in the wider world. Okay, let's go and just tell a joke about penguins. Why not? And let's discuss local fishing spots. Let's recall mortal life. I'm sure witches and wizards alike would find that sort of information very interesting. No, oh, look at that. Okay, um, look at, let's uh, give her a heartful compliment as well. Yep, okay, there we go. Tarantine made some good money. And look at that! For the first time in forever! Like ever, I think, actually. We have over a thousand simoleons. That is crazy good. But I think it's about time for Colin and for Cartelia to retire to their abode. So they are going to leave the Magic Cat Society and they are going to head on home. We do have a few other things to work on with our sims. We don't want to keep everyone waiting over here. Colin's on the evening prince. There we go. He's arrived home. And he is very tired. Wow. Cartelli is the only one who's not. Does she have the... I'm going to enable... Actually, no. I'm not going to enable always move his back because sometimes it catches me off guard and I don't like it. But I guess I could just tell her to fly to certain places as a bat if need be. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll keep that. I don't, I don't mind things working out that way. I am completely okay with that. Ah, but okay, we're about to return home. And I'm not entirely sure how much a cauldron costs, but that would mean we have to expand. Yeah, so you know what? Since we have the money, let's go ahead and see what we can do in terms of expansion. I think that is the next big step. We should expand. So, here we go. I am going to to grab, um, let's see, we are going to try and make a, a room over here. Nope, that's not happening. Oh, we don't have enough money. Right, okay, I see, I see. So, it appears as though we don't have enough money to make anything we want. Great. Just great. Well, we could have a cauldron outside, but I don't want to. I want a cauldron inside. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to see how this works out. What about more towards the middle? Yeah, that makes me happy. Yep, we don't have a whole heap of money anymore. Like, we barely have anything. I don't think we even have enough money to put in flooring and walls. Oh look, we have nothing left. Yay. Do we, we don't have anything in our inventory to sell. Okay, well we've gotten started. At least we have a room. So there we go, but we need to start putting more effort into these things. Do we have a bookshelf anywhere? Yes, we do, upstairs. So we'll get Cartelia to read something and hopefully she gets her whim done of wanting to finish reading a book. Alanard, how are you going? Your hi hydration is, is low. Hmm. Well, why don't you go take a bath then, since your hydration is low? And, oh, no, Vlad. Go away, Vlad. We have a vampire here. We don't need you to threaten us. Tiarantine is in a pretty good mood. So is Cartelia. Colin is the only one. He's off to go to sleep. Everyone's in a good mood except for Colin. And to a degree, Tiarantine. The thing about her, though, she wants to get to know Colin. Hmm. What do you want to do? You want to... Um, chat with someone. Yeah, okay, we can get that sorted. But, like I was saying, 
we don't have money to put in a cauldron or even put in a door. So what my plan is, once we start saving up a little bit more, and this is so adorable, I like the idea that the familiars kind of look after you or watch over you as you sleep. But I do want to put in a light, and then as soon as we're done putting in a light, I'm going to put in like an archway, and then we can have everyone come in here and do the potion making and whatnot. And I think I'll even try and put in either some shelves or something of the sort, counters and shelves maybe where we can stock up the potions, I think that would be pretty cool. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. But of course, to see those ideas through, we need money, which we have none of currently. But don't, don't worry, we are going to keep trying and keep striving so that we get that done. I could just get rid of this entirely, and use the thousand simoleons in other ways. Like I could put the cauldron, not upstairs, but I could put the cauldron outside. Um, but I think it would be wise to start investing in a space underground where we can do all of our potion work. Anyways guys, with that said and done, I'm gonna leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.